Hey there, so when giving a short presentation, there are some things you can do to make that presentation a lot more effective. So in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 tips and you're gonna wanna stick around for all 10 because if you don't know all 10, it might be difficult to give that effective presentation. So here we go. Number one, plan and organize your content. Make sure you have a clear structure for the presentation and know exactly what the audience wants to hear. This will ensure that your presentation goes smoothly and also is engaging for the audience. Number two, keep it simple and concise. Avoid any kind of jargon when giving your presentation. You want everyone to understand exactly what you're saying in a way that is easy to understand. I don't know how else to say it so you understand. Think about it. Steve Jobs used to say that he would speak at a grade five level in his presentations, mainly because that made it easier for everybody to understand what he was saying. So be concise, be simple. Number three, use visuals. Visuals will help to enhance your presentation, make it much more engaging, and make it a lot easier to understand. So don't skimp on this part. Make sure you take some time to find some visuals that will really help to enhance your message. Number four, practice and rehearse. This is incredibly important. Make sure that you have practiced your presentation at least, what I say, 10 times perfectly. Because by that time, you'll know your presentation so well that when you give it, you'll be a lot more confident, you'll be a lot more sure of yourself, and of course, you'll remember what you have to say. And that goes directly into number five, which is be confident and engaging. The best way to practice this is to actually film yourself. Film yourself with your phone, watch yourself, see how you sound, see how you look, see how you act. Are you being engaged? Are you smiling? Do you, are you communicating well with your eyes so that the audience knows that you're actually interested in your presentation? How's your energy level? Check these things to make sure that they're exactly what you want. Also, see if you actually know your material. This is a great time for you to kind of check and see, did I actually practice and know what I'm talking about? Number six, use cues. Cues will help you to remember what you're going to say next in your presentation. As an example, maybe you use visuals. So after you finish a couple sets of visuals and talk about certain things, your next visual cue will tell you what you have to talk about. It's a lot easier than trying to remember every single thing, so just use a visual cue. One great technique that I used to use is I would have the cues on my presentation screen, then I would just turn around casually to look at them to talk about something there, and then it would remind me what I had to say. Number seven, be prepared. You never know what's going to happen at these presentations when you have to go and give one, so make sure you're prepared. And what I mean by that is bring paper copies of your presentation if you need to. Bring an extra digital copy if you need to. Bring an extra laptop if you need to. I've seen it happen before where someone thought they were totally ready, then the laptop didn't work, then the internet didn't work. Something caused them to fail and it could have been avoided if they were better prepared. Number eight, end with a call to action. Make sure that people have a way to know what to do after your presentation. So let them know. You can contact me with any questions you might have. Try out my free trial of whatever it is. Whatever your call to action is, make sure it's very clear and they know what it is and what they have to do. Number nine, be open for questions. Some people just wanna quickly finish the presentation and get the heck out of there, totally understand. But if you have questions and you're engaging with those questions, people will really want to talk to you more. They'll think, oh yeah, this person really genuinely cares. They know what they're talking about. They're spending more time with us to offer more value. These are great things to do. What you can do to kick off the Q&A section is to actually ask the questions yourself. Ask them what they thought. Ask them what their opinion is. Get the conversation going. And finally, number 10, follow up. Send emails to people that came to your presentation. Give them extra resources or how to get resources. Ask them if they have any questions or comments or feedback about the presentation. All these things add up to an effective presentation because you're engaging with the audience. You're well prepared. All things you need to do to make sure your presentation goes smoothly and successfully. If you're not sure what to say in a presentation or how to prepare, check out some of these other videos that are coming up here on the screen.